Hi, I'm Shelley Parlow. I'm an associate professor in the psychology department. I'm also the coordinator of child studies at Carleton University. I teach um, in developmental psychology and that's how I usually define the kind of work that I do, although my training is actually in developmental neuropsychology. I have um, an interest in conditions that either are congenital or are acquired during childhood or youth, uh, which are likely to be lifelong. Uh, so for example, I'm interested in things like um, left-handedness. Uh, I've been interested in learning disabilities, including dyslexia and also ADHD. Uh, more recently, I've become interested in autism. Uh, but I'm also interested in mild head injury and post-traumatic stress disorder. The research interests that I have are fairly eclectic. I do some things that are more biological. I'm interested, for example, in the handedness of autistic children, particularly uh, bimanual handedness, how they use both hands and using objects. Uh, I'm also interested in children's diet. Uh, there's a condition called selective eating, um, which is very common. About 90% of children with autism or in the autism uh, spectrum have difficulties with having a very limited range of foods that they eat or that they will eat. Uh, it's called selective eating. So I have a collaborative study that I'm doing with some colleagues in Calgary looking at what children with autism eat and what they want to eat. And we're comparing autistic children with children who have other developmental disorders and also with typically developing children. Uh, on the biological end, I'm also interested in the role of animals in the lives of, of children and youth with autism. Uh, we've been studying with one of my students and I, uh, we've been looking at the role of pet dogs in families that have an autistic child. And we've also uh, more recently been looking at uh, recreational riding. So not therapeutic riding, but just recreational riding with children with autism, children and youth. Uh, and farm animals as well. Um, some of my research is more uh, social cognition kind of oriented. Um, I'm interested in resilience and how individuals that have various conditions such as having autistic traits, whether they actually meet diagnostic criteria or not, but how these individuals manage at university, how they cope. Um, and that relates to a general interest I have in resilience. Um, I'm also uh, doing some very interesting research with a couple of students uh, that have come to me with specific interests. Uh, one student was interested in the high-tech um, industry in the Ottawa Carleton area and we're working on a geek study looking at people in the high-tech industry uh, who would describe themselves as geeks or who perhaps other people might describe themselves as geeks and we're interested to see whether that actually looks like something similar to autism or, or something quite different. And that if, if it is something to do with autism or some autistic traits they would certainly be very high functioning. Um, we also are interested in romantic uh, functioning in uh, youth and young adults with autistic traits. We've been looking at their attitudes and their experiences with dating and also uh, their beliefs about marriage. Do they think that they uh, will get married? Uh, so we have quite a wide, a wide range of, uh, of research things going on here. Uh, I'm also a member of the Pickering uh, Research Center at Carleton, and we have a website there. But I'm very happy to uh, talk to people who have uh, shared interests with me or would like to know more about my research. Uh, you can certainly contact me by email or by telephone.